What is up guys? Apathy back in the building with another video today. I will be wearing my jersey. <coughs> it doesn't smell the best, but I thought it was only right. And we are Call of Duty World Champions. I'm finally a Call of Duty World Champion. It's insane. I can't even believe it. I still don't believe it. I wake up, I go throughout my day, and I think about it. I really do. I think about what I just accomplished, what I've just done this weekend, and I still can't can't imagine what that it's true like I still can't like I'm usually the guy that you see around you around the world or you see around around your life and around you that these there's people who are accomplishing such amazing things you know they are winning they're winning Olympic gold medals or they're just being so successful and they have such an amazing job and they're graduating and becoming a doctor whatever the case is and I'm, I was always that guy that I felt like that's never me you know and <sighs> It's it's finally me, you know. I'm trying not to get too emotional here, but you know, I I finally accomplished something amazing. We won the biggest Call of Duty tournament in history so far, and I'm pretty sure next year it's going to be bigger, which is going to be great. And I just spent like 2 hours trying to redo and redo and redo this video, and I was just I was blabbering on about our matches and I know some of you guys like that, but really on this vlog I just want to make a post vlog talking about I think the more important things like yeah the matches were nice and I'm gonna end up talking about like 30 minutes about the about those matches but I don't want to make this vlog about the matches I really don't I want to talk more more in depth with you guys and more you know just heart to heart you know it's just it's insane it, it really is and I just want to thank everyone who supported us throughout the years you know who supported me individually as a person as a youtuber as a gamer or just you know just as a human being i just really appreciate it guys you know you showed love when i had when i was at my downs when i had nothing you know i'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys and i've been wanting to make this um pretty public um just last year i was pretty much broke you know i went from doing so well in Ghost, winning 20k at Champs and winning some decent tournaments and this and that, you know, I, I was pretty much broke. I had pretty much no money and I was still doing this and, you know, the, the thought came through my head like, should I continue to do this? You know, should I go get a job? Like, is, is, is this really what I want to do? And after having such a shitty, unsuccessful year at Advanced Warfare, you know, I mean, I started off pretty good, but I just let everything go. I told myself, you know, I made sort of like a promise, you know, to myself, just as me, to no one else, really. And I, I told myself, you know, I'm going to make it and I'm going to give it 110%. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to joke around anymore. Like, I'm being serious. Like, I'm going to treat it as my job. You know, I'm not going to like play, like, there's no time to play around anymore. Like, I just turned 22 this year, like a couple months ago. Like, I don't have too much time left in the gaming scene, you know, maybe maybe a year or two left, maybe three, depending on how things go, but I don't think I'm going to be gaming more than 24, 25 max. And, you know, I I, I promised myself that next year I'm going to work my ass off and that, you know, I'm going to give it 110%. I'm not going to slack. I'm going to make sure to, to at least most of the time to give it my all. And even when I wasn't on the, I wasn't on a team in season one, you know, I still didn't give up. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to get on a, a former team out of the season. And I was on Team Liquid, and we were pretty good. We played third slash fourth at UMG South Carolina, and you know, a lot of people were were really cheering for me and rooting for me. And then we we fought all the way back to get into season two qualifier to not qualify, get reverse swept once you're up 3-0, and that was heartbreaking. And you know. I was I was I was nowhere right like but I still didn't give up I wanted to quit YouTube I wanted to quit streaming I wanted to quit everything and you know a huge reason is you guys like I want to I just I want to thank you so much before I continue with this video like especially you know all my fans everyone who supported me since day one you know as soon as I won I, it was just I got like maybe 80 DMs and that's not even counting the people who tweeted me and I couldn't answer to all of you guys I only answered to a few but thank you like it's crazy man we got a first place finish for envious you know I called the DXP I know hash has been wanting it so much and you know I've been wanting it so much and it's honestly it's life-changing like you guys have no idea what this means to me like no idea like you guys can only begin to think but you can't phantom what this really truly means to me 
like the amount of sacrifices and the hard work I put into all this and especially for this one event is like <laughs> you guys can't even begin you know to think what like I sacrificed but you know I wasn't I wasn't on the season one I got on on liquid we didn't qualify for season two you know I'm thankful for Sasher giving me a shot and just any of us in general I, I know they were looking really looking forward to picking up uh, John and Saints at one point and it was really hard to pick them up both and then it was gonna be me and Diabolic and you know I, I just kept talking to Slasher and I was gonna join Complexity at one point and I just kept telling Slasher like trust me man I'm good dude just give me this one chance like I gave you gave you a good I gave you a chance in Advanced Warfare you know just give me this one chance and you know uh, you know things went down south with Saints I guess and they were like all right let's 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 play and we just ended up teaming with each other and just it was honestly an amazing opportunity that I wasn't going to take for granted you know I, I the first the first week or so the first like one or two weeks I was slacking a little bit I could have played a little bit more could have put in a little more time but after I started doing a little bad sometimes and I was just a little bit inconsistent I was like no like I'm not going to I'm not going to do this again like how am I going to grind more when I'm out of the league than in the league like when I was on team liquid I was putting crazy amount of hours I was grinding my ass off and I wasn't just gonna, no, I wasn't gonna throw it all away. Like everything I've worked for all the time, I was on Liquid and really trying to become better and like earning this spot. I wasn't just gonna throw it away like that. So I started grinding, started playing more, started really trying to improve, you know, putting crazy amount of hours. And I slowly started to get better. And, you know, it's just been a crazy wild ride with Envy. You know, we placed 8 slash 7 at UMG at Anaheim, I mean, MOG Anaheim. And it was really unfortunate. You know, we lost to Rise, which were like the second best team at the time. And we had a really close match against them last map, you know, like 6-5. And then we lost to LG, which were really just on fire that event. And it just really sucked, you know. And then we placed first at... First at Season 2 Finals, second at MLG Orlando, and now first at Call of Duty XP, the event that mattered the most. I didn't care what I placed at MLG Orlando. I don't care that I got second. I'm pretty, honestly, I would have rather got second than first in MLG Orlando because I knew, like, once you get first, like, yeah, it's a little bit of confidence booster, but you just have all that pressure behind you, you know? People expect you to be the best. People expect you to do the best. And on top of that, winning does sometimes get you a little complacent you know you feel like you're just unstoppable and you feel like you can easily win the next one I'd rather get first and second and just I, I want I want that to drive and motivate my team and be like you know what we lost that event like why aren't we practicing we should be playing right now you know I just, I'd rather I would rather them have that mentality so I mean it's just been a crazy ride overall you know winning this event beating Optic beating FaZe uh, beating all, pretty much almost every single good team and just like in a pretty dominant fashion uh i mean some matches were pretty close optic was really close match it could have gone either way elevate they were up one two at one point we just came back uh one three two um first match was a c9 we reverse swept them and even if we probably would, would have done that we would have played optic i mean we wouldn't have played optic first round but it is what it is right like I mean, this just this road, you know, when I heard we had Optic and FaZe first in our winner's bracket, I was like, I did not give a shit, dude. I was like, I'm not letting any team take this away from me. I'm tired of always getting freaking placed, like, playing, like, the best team, if not the second best team, right away out of winner's bracket. Like, I never had this good luck with brackets, you know? Like, give me a god bracket for once. And I was like, I did not care. You could put me in the hardest bracket. You best believe I'm going to give it 110%. I'm not going to be nervous. I'm not going to complain. You just be. You guys better be ready to play because I know I am and I know my team is. And we just, we didn't care who we played. We always went 110%. Always gave it our all. And it's honestly like, it's life changing, man. I still can't believe that this all happened. You know, I made this a goal since the start of the game. I said, you know what, no matter, no matter what, I, I don't, I don't want to be a, I mean, obviously, I want to be these, I want to do these things, but they're not really my goal right now. Like, I, I had a, one goal, and it was to win Call of Duty XP, Call of Duty Champs this year, and I made sure that I put in the time and that I put in the work that maybe a lot of people weren't willing to put, but I did. I made the sacrifices, I put in the time, you know, I studied my opponents for my team, I told them sometimes like oh you know the nights before we played elevate and phase i studied them i said all right some some i studied a little bit of their hard points but i mainly studied their search and destroy you know i really told my team hey i, I spent an hour a night in bed you know before going to bed i'll write down some notes and i told my team they're probably gonna do this they're probably gonna do that you know just to counter them just put in the extra time put in the extra work like we're talking about call of duty xp here you know if they're they're probably gonna do it to us 
I want to do it back to them because I, I want to have a fair playing field. If not, I want the advantage. I don't care if I want to win this event. And just the amount of time, hard work, and stress myself and my team put into, into this in this game. Like, you guys weren't watching our scrims, but we were scrimming all the time. We were practicing all the time. I mean, it was dreadful. It was awful. At times, I wanted to get off. At times, I just wanted to, like, play a computer game. Let me rest. Let me go play some GTA or something, you know? Like, let me chill. But at the same time, I'm like, no. Like, I did have a little break sometimes, obviously, because you can't play Call of Duty, like, 24-7. You know, after, like, 12 hours, you're like, damn, like, I need a break. But, you know, we made sure we take we took practice 100% serious. We, it was priority no matter what you had to do. You know, we only missed like one or two days maybe practice because of very, very, very extremely important stuff. Um, but other than that, like we were always there for practice. We always made sure to be on time. I was constantly in the eights chat, in the group chat. Like, our, I'm setting up a scrim for seven. All right, we have a scrim at seven versus face. We have a scrim versus seven and versus optic. And then make sure to be on at seven. And then just constantly, like, I was really on that. Like, I, I was just so focused and so driven to make sure we were the most prepared possible going to this event my team did their job i did my job and you know i could have done it without them you know they play phenomenal uh we just we all play like monsters this weekend and it's just it's an amazing feeling no words can describe what ha what have what we have accomplished really you know winning the biggest tournament of the year winning two hundred thousand dollars which obviously some of it's gonna get taxed it's gonna hurt but it's still crazy amount of money, you know, just winning this all. And this this was a this was a goal for me before I retire. I'm not saying I'm retiring now, but you know, I said I'm I'm winning I'm winning Call of Duty Champs, I'm winning Call of Duty XP a hundred percent before I retire because it's just a crazy goal. Like that's something not not everybody could say, you know, that's that's something only a few could say. And it's just crazy that I accomplished it. Like, it's insane. Like, I, I made this my goal. And the amount of time and hard work and stress and sacrifices and just et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that was put in, you know, it's all freaking worth it. It, it really is. Like, it was all worth it. Like, it's just crazy. And, you know, I just remember, you know, we were, we were up 4-0 in the CTF with like a minute and a half left. And I just remember that the time... It was almost impossible for them to win, but it was like 20, 30 seconds left, and then <laughs> Cap just starts screaming, "Guys, we did it! We won!" And he's like, "Whoa!" And there's still 20 seconds left, and then Slasher is like, "Hold up, hold up! Let me make sure I get this kill." Even though it was 4-2, there was no way they could really come back unless somehow magically they had overdrive or something. And he's like, "Hold up!" And then I'm just, I just like with 10 seconds left, I just start screaming with Cap. I'm like, "Whoa! Let's go!" <laughs> And then it was honestly like insane. Like we all just started getting so hyped and getting so pumped. And I and I just see like a stroll like coming up to me and like he, he wants to literally cry like I'm saying like so much, but he just he, he I, I can tell I can see it in his eyes and the whole the whole way, you know, just down from 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 the from the monitors, you know, from the state like from the main stage down to the stage, like I just wanted to like shed a tear because wait, because I did it, and it's it's such a it's such a live it's such a it's such a crazy thing and it's life changing it really is and you know i have you guys know my fiance uh maria we have a wedding in three in three months and it's it's been honestly a little bit difficult to you know we want to move out and we had this shitty ass car then we've been driving with like no ac and fucking miami where it's so hot and we just and and we want to move out and have a nice place and you know have a nice wedding and it, it's been tough with everything and you know we just we just ha we've had it tough and last year was tough and it's just it's it's amazing like it's it really is and <laughs> Like, I'm a fucking Call of Duty World Champion now, you know? <laughs> it's honestly... It's... 
I, I can't say, there's no way to describe it. It's life changing, you know, what it means to you guys, to the, all the fans, to the Envious fans, what it means to me. Like, I felt like on my whole team, probably my whole team, it meant the most to me just for so many reasons. And I just had, I've had a roller coaster year of this year, especially last year. Like, it's just been so many ups and downs, you know. It's just, it's honestly overwhelming and such a humbling experience. And, you know, I, I'm just so grateful. And it just, it really proves the hard work can pay off. That hard work will pay off. You know, I just, I just want to give a special shout out to my fiance. You know, she supported me, you know, before the event. There, I told her, I, I straight up told her, you know, I said, I need your support. I need your full support this weekend, like, or this couple weeks. Like, I know we're barely, we're not going to barely spend time. I know it's going to suck, but I really need it. I need to play. I need to focus. I need to, like, be prepared as possible for this event because this is the biggest event of the year. And you know, I know it, it sucked for her because she was home all the time. And she just, I, was, I wasn't really spending time with her. She would, she would, there was some nights where she would go to bed alone. Or the only time we'd really see each other is when I go, when we'd go to bed. And it just, I just really appreciate her support. Like, she, she's been amazing, you know, just there for me this whole time. You know, I, I just, I really, I just remember, like, down to the to main stage is really wanting to like just cry of tears of joy and relief and just so happy that it's that I finally did it that my team did it that we did it you know after all the hard work we put in after all the hard work I put in and it's so amazing that we could bring one home for you know envious and all the fans and the people who supported me you know I'm so happy and proud that I could say I did it you know I'm so happy that I could make my family and my fiance proud and everything and it's just some some people don't understand what what the weight was on me you know how much this all means to me and you guys might think like why why aren't you happy why are you why are you crying right now why are you like what's the why are you so emotional but you guys really won't ever understand until you know like my life and my position and all these things but you know I'm just so happy that you know life is gonna get better and I'm just gonna continue to work hard. You know, I really want to, you guys to know that any you can do anything you put your mind to. Just like you could be that guy that's gonna be successful and happy one day. Like it doesn't don't don't hate on success. You know, like stop worrying so much about other people. Worry about yourself. You know, try to change your life. Try to make your life better. And that's that's something that that's that's kind of like the road I've been taking this past year or so. You know, I stopped caring so much about this guy and that guy. Oh, that guy's a world champion. I'm never going to be a world champion. Well, that guy has 10 championships. I'm never going to have 10 championships. I stopped caring less about what other people had and what other people are doing. And I started worrying and caring more about myself and my group of people and my family. And I started putting my time and investing my time into that and really focusing on that. So I think now, you know, now we'll be able to hopefully live a little bit better life, you know, just keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I'm just so proud of the squad as well. You know, J-Cap, Slasher, John, they gave it their all. They gave it 110%. Always practice, always went hard. And I couldn't ask any more, you know, from them. They, they did their job. You know, they even did extra. And I'm just so proud to, you know, so, so proud of their performance, you know, inside and outside of the game. You know, they're great people, great friends. And obviously i honestly i couldn't have done it without them at all like you like we all you know gave it our all we all put in the work we all put in the time you know they're not matches we all played phenomenal and i'm just so i'm just so happy that we did it you know it's insane you know i'm so happy we could bring a first place finish for hastro and you know codic speak because he's his his organization his team has played second twice just remember guys never give up man give it your all always go hard i remember when i was practicing scrims money eights whatever the case is I was always going hard, you know, I was giving 110% because that's the only way you're going to get your best results. That's the only way you're going to see the best results and just become better in general. And it is, it just apply that to whatever you do, man, whether, whether it's working out, you know, whether it's school, whether, whether it's your, you want to become a gamer, like whatever it is, man, have that mentality and trust me, you will, you will be better. You will become better. You will see better results. But either way, guys, man, just thank you so much. Thank you for everything, you know. 
this isn't the end, right? Like, we're just going to keep going. Uh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try to continue to start doing uh, YouTube videos, start streaming again, you know. But I just want to thank you guys so much for support, man. Honestly, means everything to me. Sorry, sorry the video got a little emotional at times, but... You know, it's just it's been an it's been an emotional roller coaster for me. You know, these past couple of days especially, I just I can't believe that I won Call of Duty World Champs and the the amount, you know, how much it means to me, you guys will never know. You know, I would never be able to describe it to you, but hopefully in this video you guys kinda got a sense of what I mean and how I really feel about all this. So hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I know it's slightly long. Apologize for that, but I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Apathy, the Call of Duty World Champion, is out. Peace.